So today we're going to be doing something a little bit different, something I am going to call a gold guide. And basically what this is, is an in-depth look at an individual weapon to help you get gold for that weapon. So for example, in today's video, we are going to be doing an in-depth look at the Kilo 141. And in these videos, we are going to look at the weapon stats. So that includes everything from damage, fire rate, reload speed, everything like that. After that, we are going to dive into some individual attachments and class setups that you can use. And then finally, and most importantly, talk about the weapon camos and the actual best and fastest way to earn all of the weapon camos and in turn, get that weapon gold. By the end of the year, we should have all of the weapons gold and in turn, get the Damascus camo, aka the Dark Matter camo of Modern Warfare. So if you do enjoy this video, if you want to see more of these, the two ways to let me know is leave a comment down in the comments letting me know you enjoyed the video and the second is simply hitting that like button because the more likes these videos get the more likely i am to continue them and continue on with this series and like i said only do that if you enjoy the video so i'm gonna shut up there's a lot to talk about in this video so without further ado let's start off by looking at the kilo 141's stats so first of all as far as this weapon goes the way to look at it is a really average weapon with super low recoil a great comparison to this weapon is the acr from call of duty modern warfare 2. in fact it has really similar stats to that gun in fact, it's almost identical. But really, the magic of the Kilo 141 is in that exact thing. The low recoil is really what makes this thing good. It's incredibly easy to pick people off across the map, even though the fire rate doesn't quite match up with its counterpart, the M4A1. Now, let's get a little bit more specific, starting off with the damage profile. So starting out with damage, the normal damage is 28 up close, 23 at mid-range, and 18 at long range. This is going to range from a 4 to a 6 bullet kill. Then with the headshot multiple, Multiplier, you're looking at a 1.5 times headshot multiplier, which gives you 42 damage up close, 34 at mid-range, and 27 at long range. This is actually the exact same damage profile as the M4A1. Now, the question is, is when do headshots matter? Basically, if you're up close or at mid-range, you need two headshots to reduce the bullets to kill by one. If you are at long range, you need one headshot to reduce the bullets to kill by one. So it's not the best damage multiplier to the head. It's not like the M4A1 was before for the most recent patch but it's still decent and headshots are still definitely going to make a difference so this is the first damage drop off where you drop from 28 to 23 damage anything under this you're looking at 28 damage anything over this you're looking at 23 damage it's approximately 27 meters where this happens at and then the second drop off happens at 50 meters this is where it goes from 23 to 18 damage and then in turn is a six bullet kill after this, we have our time to kill on the Kilo, which is 765 RPM, which is essentially 70 RPM slower than the M4A1, which is actually a pretty big deal, considering they both have the same damage profile. Now, the time to kill looks like this. 235 milliseconds up close, 314 milliseconds at mid-range, and 392 at long range. And of course, those can all be reduced by getting headshots. Now, to be honest with you, these are all really good time to kills. Basically, any weapon that has a maximum time to kill under 400 milliseconds is generally speaking pretty damn good. And this is great. The problem is, is it's just overshadowed by the M4A1 as it has the exact same damage properties with a faster fire rate, which means all its time to kills are better as well. So a good weapon, just overshadowed. Moving into the smaller stats, first of all, the Kilo has a 30 round magazine that reloads in 1.30 seconds, which for an assault rifle is actually really fast in fact most of the assault rifles in this game have a pretty damn quick reload time that 1.3 seconds is actually more online with smgs in most call of duty games and then finally aim down sights and sprint out time first of all our aim down sights is 250 milliseconds a sprint out of 267 milliseconds and then finally the super sprint out time which is when you're doing that super sprint or tack sprint is 400 milliseconds so much longer in that circumstance but this is actually super average for assault Assault rifles in this game a lot of assault rifles have these exact times so no big surprise here so stat wise from everything we've looked at we are essentially looking at a little bit worse of a m4a1 the thing that really makes up for it though is that the kilo 141 has less recoil so next let's dive into the camos and talk about the best way to get each individual camo and the best class to use to get each individual camo so the first type of camo is simply the spray paint camos these are simply for getting a lot of kills all you got to do is kill people pretty damn straightforward the second one is woodland this one is for getting 
headshots. Once again, by the time you fully level up this weapon and complete all the other challenges, this one should probably be complete as well. But what I'm going to do is just give you my two favorite classes with the Kilo, both of which are very, very different for different situations. So first off, this is just like your kind of average run of the mill class. This is going to be good in pretty much every single situation. First of all, I use an optic, whatever one you feel most comfortable with. I like the GI mini reflex just because it's small and I don't really like the iron sights of this weapon. After that, moving to an under barrel, you're going to use the operator foregrip. Basically, this one is just to control the recoil even more. This is going to help you at those really long ranges. Now that reduces your aim down sight speed. So what you're going to want to do to counter that is use the steepled grip. This is pretty much the best attachment on any weapon. It's going to improve your aim down sight speed and your sprint out fire speed. I recommend this on pretty much every single weapon. Another cool one is the 50 round mags. Now it says it's going to make your aim down sight speed and movement speed worse. It does make your movement speed a little bit worse, but not by much. And it actually doesn't screw up your aim down sight speed whatsoever. So you don't have to worry about that. You just get extra ammo. And then finally, sleight of hand, another perk that I use a lot on many of my weapons, so that's highly recommended as well. This class is just going to kind of be good in any situation you're playing with this weapon, and I highly recommend it in any really map that you're not super close quarters. But speaking of which, that is when we move into the next class setup that is specifically for for close quarters. So this is my personal favorite class with the Kilo and the magic really comes from the stock or lack thereof. The attachment you're going to use here is simply no stock and it's going to improve your movement speed and aim down sight speed. This is the key. You move really fast with this weapon when you don't have a stock on it, almost like an SMG. Now this is going to reduce your aiming stability and your recoil control, which kind of suck, but to make up for this, you're going to use once again the operator foregrip, which is going to add Add recoil control on top of that the rear grip you're going to use the steepled grip this is really important this is like i said one of the best attachments and then once again i am using the sleight of hand perk and finally whatever optic you feel the most comfortable with like i said this is my personal favorite class this is what's going to be really good for rushing around so the next camo we have here is the digital camo and this one is for getting kills while crouching now the best piece of advice i can give for this is as soon as you unlock this camo challenge just start crouching before every single kill you get you see someone just crouch instantly and then start shooting at them or while you are shooting at them this one actually took me one of the longest out of all of them but it was because i wasn't doing this as soon as i unlocked it so that one i highly recommend moving on to the dragon camo this one is for getting hip fire kills and this one is actually one of the ones i found more difficult but there is two tricks that you can do that is going to make this way easier number one is a class setup so basically what you're going to do here is take that close quarters class setup we had from before and change out the operator foregrip for a five millimeter laser sight what this does is vastly reduce your hip spread and make it easier to get hip fire kills the second thing you're going to want to do is change the game mode you're playing to the nvg game mode or night vision game mode reason being even if you quote unquote aim down sights within this game mode you are still hip firing, which means every single kill that you get in this game mode is going to be a hip fire kill. Now, sometimes the night vision mode is actually removed completely from the game, so you're not always able to do this. So when there is no night vision mode, just try to get every kill from hip firing when they're within like 20 meters. Yes, it sucks. Yes, it's annoying. But let me promise you, if there is that night vision mode, that is 100% the best way to get hip fire kills. After this, you have splinter. This one is for getting long shots. The best piece of advice I can give you on that is play ground war. The bigger the map, the longer the lines of sight, the easier it is to get long shots. Pretty plain, pretty simple. Topo. This one is difficult. This is for getting kills while mounted. This is the one I pretty much always finish last on my weapons because I don't mount very much. Two pieces of advice I can give you is number one, pretty much anytime you go through a window or doorway, mount first, try to kill someone and then go through the doorway. This is 100% going to slow down your speed of play. It's a little bit boring going for this one, but you're going to have to if you're going for gold camo. The second piece of advice I can give you is a field upgrade. Use the barricade. 
As it turns out, you can mount to the barricade, which means if you're in a really busy area on a map, just throw down that barricade, you can mount to it, and get a couple mounted kills before you move on to the next area of the map. After this, we've got Tiger, which is for getting kills with five attachments. Basically, either use one of the two classes that I mentioned before, and you'll get this one unlocked. After that, Stripes, kills shortly after reloading. To me, this is one of the most difficult challenges for all of the weapons. Basically, they've just recently made it easier to get this. They extended the amount of time you have after reloading. But the way to get this the fastest is as soon as you spawn in, shoot one bullet out of your weapon. And before you go into every single room, before you check any corner, before you look out any window, reload first and then look out that window or look through that doorway and try to kill someone. That'll make it so that every time you're about to get a kill, you have just reloaded. Other than that, there's not much else you can do other than just get lucky and hopefully a lot of people come to you right after reloading. After this, we've got Reptile. This one's for getting kills with no attachments. That's pretty simple. Just don't use attachments. Yes, it kind of sucks. There's a little bit more recoil on all the weapons, but you'll get used to it pretty quickly and that one comes pretty fast. And then finally, Skulls. In my opinion, this is probably the easiest one out of all of the challenges. You unlock it last and it's to simply get a three kill streak with this weapon. Get three kills without dying. Basically, either use one of the two class setups I mentioned before, and you will get this pretty damn easily. Just get three kills without dying, plain and simple. So ladies and gentlemen, we've looked at the stats, we've looked at the best class setups, we looked at how to unlock all of the camos the fastest. That, ladies and gentlemen, is your Kilo 141 Gold Guide. Like I said, if you enjoyed the video and want to see me continue this series, all you gotta do to show me, simply hit that like button. Also, let me know down in the comments what weapon you'd like to see me cover next. Also, if you like what you see here, want to stay up to date on everything Modern Warfare, make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you turn notifications on. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time, peace out. We are, we are reaching for the stars, but we're making this too.